Kia ora. Today I am going to start to make a series of videos on 1.2 multivariate investigation for level 1 in CEA. I'm going to be talking to um, a PowerPoint or PowerPoints that I've made that we've made at the school and trying to explain what each step of the assess assessment is about. So um, we just need to remember that schools do it differently so I am specifically looking at how we do it at our school to start off with. So to start off with I want to just have a little look at an introduction um, telling us a little bit about what is in the standard. So here we've got four credits numeracy and literacy um, as well and uh, we at our school make an open book one week assignment that you can use. Just make sure that you use your own stuff because if you use other people's stuff then you can quite often um, end up being accused of cheating. So it's not hard enough that you need to actually do that, you need to actually do your own work. So we're using laptops, we're using Google Workspaces etc and we're using Jake for Maths NZ Grapher as our platform for drawing our graphs. All right. Um, so this one's on multivariate data. Now multivariate data is where we have many variables. Multi, many, variables, variate. Okay, and we can have way more than three or just three. But the idea here is that you've got different things that you can ask questions about because you're going to pose your own question and we're going to make sure that you write a question that can actually be answered and you're going to investigate that question in the way that we want this particular set of data investigated. So there are two forms the variables can take. One is a numerical value. And this variable has to be measured. So it's things that you would use a tape measure or some sort of scales or something like that to measure. So it could be, um, it could be length, it could be height of something, it could be the weight of something, it could be temperature, it could be how many uh, litres of water there are in a swimming pool, whatever, measuring, anything to do with measured data, okay, so continuous data. And the other one is categorical variable, and that's the one that splits you up into, into different groups like year 9, 10, 11, as it says on the screen, but also things like gender, uh, ethnicity, um, where you come from, so it might be different cities, you could have Porirua versus Tawa or those sorts of things. So you're looking for those sort of things, and you're looking for something that interests you. Um, so here's a couple of examples. We've got weight, colour of cars, ring finger length, type of cell phone students own and shoe size. So weight is obviously measured, colour of cars, well they're distinct data, so discrete, therefore they're blue and red and yellow and so we can put them in categorical. Ring finger length, that's another measured one. Type of cell phone, another categorical. And shoe size, well that's a little bit of a dicey one. But we don't measure shoe size, so according to our it would come in categorical and we'd be able to group ours by size 9 feet and size 10 feet and how long they live or something like that is, would be some sort of investigation along that way. So there they are, split into the two different categories. So we use the statistical cycle in all of our um, investigations for NCEA and this is our maybe second or first visit to it, depending on whether you've done 1.11 by variate. And we follow that same circle of problem, plan, data, analysis, conclusion. So in this particular one, we want to pose a question for our problem, figure out what we're going to do. We're going to design some sort of plan, describe our data, figure out where it's come from, what we think may happen. That's called a hypothesis hypothesis and then we will use NZ Graph to draw some graphs that we have to talk about because when we draw graphs we must talk about them and find some statistics and that will help us to analyze our data set and compare the two things that we've decided to compare because this is multivariate we're comparing two things and then we write up a conclusion which tells us what our findings tell us but also here we can talk about what we could have done better who might find it useful um, those sort of things that might be a bit expanding on what we've actually done up till now. Okay? Brilliant.